Welcome back to Little Bits Kitchen. Today we're going to make sunny baked Vidalias. You're going to need four large vanilla Vidalia onions. They're pretty big. This is the size that's usually in the store. Or if you have a garden, you can use six to seven of this size. You're going to slice them, medium to small slice, and saute them in three quarters of a stick of butter. You want them to be limp, slightly yellow, but not browned. You're going to pour these into a 9 by 5 dish or an 8 by 8 baking dish. Then, over this, you're going to mix together one can of either cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup. My grandma used to make just a medium white sauce for this. But to make it quick and easy, let's use a can of soup. Also, with that, you're going to mix one cup of milk, a little salt, and a little pepper. Then we're going to pour this mixture over your Vidalia onions. Kind of move them around a little bit just to kind of get the soup mixture down into the onions. For this, we're going to use some grated cheese. You can use either Swiss or Gruyere cheese. I splurged a little this week and got Gruyere cheese. It's just my husband and I, and we're not going to have uh, meat with this. We're going to have this casserole with a nice garden salad. It'll be just fine. So you're going to have. Um, Maybe you know a couple cups of, of shredded cheese. Mix this over the top. Spread it evenly. This is going to bake and get real gooey and stringy. Over the top of our casserole, you're going to need a stick of butter melted in a shallow bowl and some cut baguette slices. You're going to quickly dip your baguette slices in the butter and place them butter side up in your pan. Doesn't matter if they fit perfectly, but usually baguette bread is small. And you can kind of fit things in. If not, cut slices in half so they fit into your dish. Just keep adding them on top of your cheese. Remember to dip these quickly. You don't want them really saturated. This is going to become a nice crusty top for your casserole. That looks good. So you have your casserole all put together. You're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. 
And you're gonna bake this for about a half an hour or so until it looks crusty and brown on top, just to where you think it looks good. Okay, we'll get this in the oven and be right back. Welcome back. We're here ready to plate up. Our sunny baked Vidalias are done. I actually ended up cooking them 45 minutes at 350 degrees just to get the bread a little more toasted. So we're going to serve some up. Let's see how this, how this goes. Ooh, that's some stringy cheese there. My husband really likes the bread. Dip it in the onions and cheese. And there we are. This is our dinner tonight. A garden salad, fresh garden tomatoes, a little sour cream and mayonnaise, salt and pepper, and our sunny baked Vidalia casserole. Glad you're here. Hope you liked the recipe. Be sure and give it a try.